the academy, what they do with the lessons is they make them really fun and they, they include everybody. So it's never just like a certain person that's always, you know, answering questions. It's always the whole group and the whole class that always contributes to, you know, the, the learning and just how the whole class system works. And what I like about the teachers is that they never, they never give up on like, if somebody doesn't understand something, they never give up and say, no, I'm, I completely, you know, I might wit's end. They, they consistently keep on just teaching us to a really high standard. I think that really, that's what makes the academy great. At Skinner's Kent Academy, we are passionate about making a difference to every child in our care. We are committed to um, enabling every student to walk into every classroom as an equal. At Skinner's Kent Academy, it's what you do inside the classroom that makes a difference. It's what sets you apart from other young people. So when starting life at the Skinner's Kent Academy, um, I think the first thing to mention is the way in which the building is designed. It's been designed to ensure that that transition from primary to secondary school is as smooth as it possibly can be. We have a fantastic area uh, for Newton House students um, and Newton House is the house where year seven and eight um, uh, join us um, and spend two years um, at the academy before rising up and joining the senior houses. Um, the Da Vinci space is um, a fantastic area for students to uh, break out from lessons and, and uh, their thinking area but also it ensures that all of their classrooms are off of this space which um, I found hugely um, benefits students when settling into the academy. Another really important aspect to mention about um, starting life at the Academy is that we uh, run an induction program that starts actually in the July before they join us in the September. There's a two day induction program where students get to experience um, typical Academy days um, and a variety of lessons prior to that September. When they join us in the September, they actually have a, a full day without um, any other students here, so just Year 7s in the building, um, and we call that our Learning to Learn Day. Um, and they, they will spend their time with their new tutor group, their new tutor, um, and really get a chance to settle in before the rest of the Academy join us the next day, um, and we start um, for the rest of the Academy year.
Well, given the wide range of ability at the academy, there's so much differentiation. So I've seen consistently good lessons where um, the different abilities of the, the students in the lesson are factored for, which is amazing. Um, but on top of that, there's also the TA team, and they're brilliant because they have all this one-to-one -one time with the really low ability students who need the help. And I think they end up developing quite a nice relationship uh, with them. But even better than that is, uh, is me and my job as a learning mentor, which I think is quite uh, unique to the academy. Because not only can I be with the low ability kids, uh, but I can also be drafted into a high ability lesson where the kids obviously uh, can do the work themselves, um, but I can just push them to achieve that potential that we all know that they can achieve. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SKA Scarfest 2014. At the Skinner's Kent Academy we run a one-to-one -one iPad program. Um, this is the, a program that puts digital devices in the hands of all of our young people. Um, it's a fantastic opportunity for young people to use um, the sorts of technology that, that we expect them to use when they leave the academy and that the in industry will expect them to use. But most importantly is really supporting and enhancing teaching and learning at the academy. The devices give our young people the opportunity to uh, work and learn from home. Uh, they can also print from their devices too. We've been part of a European uh, project that's involved over 45 schools across Europe uh, looking into the benefits um, of having digital devices in the hands of young people um, in classrooms and it's been a fantastic opportunity to not only um, delve into the, uh, the benefits of these programmes but also to really um, progress teaching and learning at the academy. The iPads um, have supported and enhanced learning in the classroom in a variety of different ways. Firstly, it allows them to explore, to create and to interact with one another. Um, we have apps that support organisations such as Academia which is a student planner app um, and we also run a Digital Genius programme, which is a programme set up to um, allow our young leaders to support other young people um, and run training specifically around the devices. Home can be anywhere, big and or small. Home can be any colour, white or red. Home can be any shape, wide, thin or tall. Home is for any use, parties or bed. It should be a place of comfort and trust should always be a place for happy times, should always keep you safe, even with rust. It is always sweet, not sour like limes. Everyone has a home, somewhere out there. Might not believe me, but really it's true. Home is everywhere, full of love and care. It's for great families who stick like glue. Home is a place of truth and honesty. It's for everyone. Take it from me. It's exhausting. 
um, because I realised, it's taken me about a year, but I've realised that you just can't relax because there is literally so much potential in every lesson, it doesn't matter what set they are, um, but there's just no time to let the students stagnate because there's always room for improvement, always, it doesn't matter what ability they are. And so I think it becomes very, very obvious if I'm not doing my job properly, or if any member of staff isn't. Uh, because right from year 7 through to year 11, the students have a really clear idea of the Academy's expectation that they're meant to strive for success. And so I think that it's every member of staff's duty and privilege uh, to make sure that the kids do really well here. Uh, I took part in the Mock Trials 2015, uh, we won our local heats and then we went on to come second in the regionals and then we did really well in the finals, it was a really good experience and I had lots of fun doing it. I enjoyed uh, learning more about law and about court cases because I'd like to do something with the law when I'm older so it'd be uh, good to experience on that. Isaac joined Skinner's Kent Academy two years ago in, um, and is now in year eight. He came from a small independent school and for us it was pretty much an unknown territory joining Skinner's Kent Academy. Um, he's gone from strength to strength since then both personally academically um, and I can't um, advocate the school enough as a parent. Um, he was part of the mock trial competition which they made national finals of which we're very proud of. So it's not, not just about academic achievement, I think it's um, his out of school activities and him developing personally as a person, um, we can't recommend it enough. I'm in a very similar position to um, you as parents. My child is also going to secondary school uh, this year, my eldest, who incidentally is called Sharp. Um, when I looked for schools, I tried to look beyond English, Maths and Science and all the things they'd be doing in the classroom and look at the lessons they'd be learning uh, beyond those subjects directly, uh, directly taught. Uh, at Skinner's Kent Academy we follow the, the IB curriculum. We teach our young people to be knowledgeable, to be caring, to be thinkers, to learn where and when to take risks, to be balanced, to be reflective, to be good communicators, to be open-minded, to be principled and to be good inquirers. And as I look around other schools, I think the Skinner's Kent Academy is quite unique in our approach.